Hi, Gillian Rolston. How are you? Good, thanks, Fleur. How are you? I'm very well. For it's Friday morning, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> yes. So uh, this must be. I think it's paintings four that we're featuring for your home sweet home exhibition. Yes, yes. it is number four. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so for home sweet home, so far we've had several cups of tea, yeah. um, and today I believe you're going to talk about Prosper. Yes, um, this painting here, <clears throat> I had trouble naming it. I knew what I wanted in my, when I was um, creating this painting, I knew what it was about, but I'm trying to put a name to it. Um, so I had more trouble trying to put a name to it than what I did painting it. Um, but I, it's poppy heads, but it's not sort of anything to do with poppies really. Um, I just had this idea of um, having uh, poppies and all different sizes and setting, sending out their roots and and that is how um, a community or um, you know any anybody thrives you know it's all about um, building communities and prospering and flourishing and thriving and all that sort of stuff so there's you know once something one good thing happens then it sort of keeps spreading out and spreading its roots out so that's sort of what um, this painting was about uh, the um, the actual poppy heads here is um, a stencil that I um, drew, hand drew, and then cut out so that I could I because I wanted the repeat pattern through there, and so all these stencils were um, were created by me as well, which takes time, hand cutting everything, and um, can cause injury sometimes. <laughs> um, yeah, so that that's that's what this painting is about. Fantastic. Um, and um, I haven't actually used any of the thick texture in that in this one like I do in most of my paintings, but every now and again, I just don't need the texture in there. I just... All right. We just lost connection, unfortunately, for some reason. So, Gillian, back to you. Okay. Um, I was explaining that um, before I started anything on this um, canvas, I painted the whole canvas in gold first. So that I would have a reflection of the gold coming through and you can see that you can't actually see gold anywhere but you can see um, the the reflection of the gold coming through the some of the transparent paints that I've used so it gives it a little bit of a um, you know a different look it's not not a flat look it actually sort of makes it shimmer a little bit in the areas so um, yeah, yeah so right. that, that that's just a little bit different. And unfortunately, as I said, the lighting isn't too fantastic in here in the studio this morning um, because of the outside skies. <laughs> and I have to have oh, the inside. We'll just have light. to come and see it in person then. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. So come and see it at yeah. our. I know you sale. said. I know you said. Um, there were, you had poppies there for no reason, but why did you choose poppies <laughs> for no reason? I don't really know. I, I think I, I, I probably, when, I can't remember when I started, I think I did this painting last year, sort of, um, you know, probably when there was all the poppies and everything around for Anzac Day and Remembrance Day and all that. And um, poppies are just, something that's probably been there <laughs> because of that reason in my whole life you know so yeah, yeah nice. and I, like I like the shape that's probably got something to do with it as well the shape of the poppy heads with the um seeds that pop out the top and yeah the the pods not not the actual poppies yeah i, yeah. I like the pod <laughs> <laughs> awesome well that's great so thanks very much i love the idea um i'm feeling like Community, prosperity, abundance, all those beautiful um, emotions and concepts. So looking forward to seeing that one face to face. And thanks a lot, Gillian. So um, looking forward to our feature um, painting next week. Yes, okay. <laughs>